Hello, walk people. Good afternoon. Yes, it is afternoon. Um, I'm going to teach you a little thing today. This is a little pre-video for Sandy's talk this coming Sunday, and she's going to be talking about, um, she's going to share her testimony in, like, different ways on how to do that, um, and just share the word, because there are a lot of hurting people right now, and there's, like, a lot of depression and sadness, um, so it's a really good opportunity for us as Christians to share that with other people, so I'm going to teach you two easy ways, um, to share Jesus, um, so we see this in Revelation 12, 11, where it says, They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. So we get two things, um, the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So blood of the Lamb is referring to Jesus um, because he's the Lamb and he was sacrificed for us on the cross. And then the word of our testimony is just merely our story. Um, and how, like, Jesus has worked in our hearts. And so, for the testimony, um, this is a really easy way to, like, share um, and connect with other people. Because a lot of times people have similar things in common with you. Um, so, I like to base it off of four different things just so it's easiest to um, communicate. And then you get your point across. So, first thing um, is... So what was your life like before Jesus? Um, and like, how are you living? Were you trying to prove yourself? Or were you doing drugs and all this bad stuff? Or something else, whatever. And then what Jesus did for you. Um, so he died on the cross, he saved you, and you finally realized that. And then how your life is different um, now because you have Jesus. Um, so really working through those three things, what your life was before Jesus, what Jesus did, and then your life after Jesus. And then we also love to end stuff like this with a question. So we keep the conversation going. Um, so usually you just say like, um, do you resonate with any of this? Do you connect with anything or any similarities between my story and yours? Um, just so it's not like Whoever you're talking to, they don't just like stop and be like, oh, okay, cool. Like you keep the conversation going, um, which is super key. So we always want to ask a question after this. And then the second thing is sharing the gospel. So I have a little tool that I love and I've used and it's super simple. It's really understandable and it's like a little picture. I think I've shared it before at the walk um, maybe a year or two ago, um, but it's called the three circles. So I'm just going to share it with you like you don't know Jesus. So, um, I'm going to be drawing it out. Hopefully you can see. So this world is super duper broken. And, um, we can see this literally everywhere. Um, just how there's so much poverty and sadness and war and violence and, um, just meanness and tension and so much stuff between countries, between people. Um, like this world is super broken and I know that you've experienced that, I have for sure. Um, but this is not how it was created. For in the beginning, um, God created a perfect earth. This is God's perfect plan. If you can't read this, handwriting is a little bad right now. So God created this perfect place. Um, and he created Adam and Eve, the first two humans. And they could like walk and talk with God. Um, and it was normal and it was peaceful. And there was love and joy. And there was no sin. There was no brokenness. But then um, Adam and Eve, they chose to sin. Um, they chose their own way because they wanted to know more. They didn't trust God, so they chose to sin. And now each and every person on this earth is born into sin. Um, we mess up all the time. Um, we have this brokenness in our heart. And, like, everyone has it. Everyone has experienced this. And so many people try and solve this different ways. Um, so some people, like, do drugs or alcohol or sex and love to get in relationships or even just doing good things. Um, and wanting to be a good person or just trying to prove yourself or get lots of money. Um, but all of these things, they just lead right back into the brokenness. Um, they never truly satisfy. So like we have, we try and solve, um, this brokenness, all of our problems, like the satisfaction with other things, but it never actually works. It never satisfies. We still have that hole in our heart. Um, and this is because Jesus is the only way out of the brokenness. And Jesus was a man and he 
came down to earth and he lived an absolutely perfect life. Um, he was fully God and fully human, so he did not sin at all, but he still experienced pain. He still was human and he ate and drank like every other person. Um, but then Jesus paid this only sacrifice for our sins. He died on a cross and this saved us from our sins. So now our sins are forgiven and wiped away clean um, because of Jesus. But Jesus didn't stay there. He actually rose from the dead and now he is in heaven um, reigning with God. Um, like he didn't stay dead. He conquered death and we got to celebrate that with Easter a couple weeks ago, which was sweet. Um, but so to get out of this brokenness, the only way is Jesus. And we get to this by turning and believing. Um, so once we realize like, yeah, I've messed up, I sin, I am not perfect. And we repent of that. And then we believe that Jesus is the true way and the true life. Then we can accept that and we can live a new life and be set free from our brokenness and fully satisfied in Jesus. And then we can continue to grow into God's perfect plan. Um, so as we grow, we do this by like reading the Bible, going to church, even just meeting with other believers um, and worshiping and like learning all about that and growing. So then we can become even more like Jesus. But then we're not called to just stay there in the perfect plan and in that satisfaction for us. We're actually called to go. So we're called to go back into this brokenness and share it because now we have the secret. We have the key to get out of this. Um, so we're called to share it. And so I always like to end with a question. Um, so do you see yourself in this brokenness? Like, are you still trying to find that satisfaction through other things in this world? Or have you accepted Jesus and are you growing into his perfect plan? So those are two ways to um, share Jesus. And let me know if you have any questions or whatever. I hope that makes sense. Um, sweet. Have a great week, guys. Love you.